Alright, what is up guys? I am back with another video and new part. So let's open that. Boom. Still got my tools from the drift event yesterday. But it's time to start modding this car and make it feel like a really solid drift car. It drifts good, you know, but it can always drift better. So uh yeah. <laughs> Hail. This is a harness bar. So I can actually run a harness with my bucket seat. Yeah, let me figure out how to install this. Alright, so there's no instructions on how to do this, but I'm gonna figure it out. So Assume that goes there, but let's take out the passenger seat. Seat is out. Seat is out, so let's pull it out and give ourselves some room to work with. All right, so I've been trying to figure out, you know, the seating, like the bolts need to be taken out. I didn't need to take out that bolt, top one right there and bottom right there for the seat belt and pretty sure the same for that side i want to take out that seat because it's i'm parked next to the garage and i don't want to move so um i'll take out that side and then we'll start mocking things up all right so um i took off the clips or the cover for the seat belt bolt one for down there and about to unscrew this side as well so Everything's a 14 so far. Makes life so much easier. All right, let's see. I might need a longer one. I might go get one soon. And I haven't mounted this side yet, but just making sure it's, uh, you know, everything's loose. Farted. Making sure everything's loose. And then I found a long bolt. Um, the factory one wasn't long enough to put the seat belt and the bar in, so luckily I found one. I do need some kind of washer, so um, I'm gonna figure out that side. I don't have another bolt. I'm gonna keep looking. I have a jar full of bolts, and so it's almost done. Once everything's just like this, this is how it's supposed to look on this side. It's loose, but I'm gonna tie it all up, and then I can mount a harness right here. All right, so I had to pick up some bolts because um, you're gonna need a little bit more extended ones, so. That's the new one I put in. The old one looks like that. And the bottom ones need a uh, longer ones too, just because of uh, all the stuff you're putting with it. So this side pretty much done. Um, just gotta put this side together and we should be ready to tighten all the bolts down. So yeah, and that's the old bolt, but it's hard to do it one. Not a lot of room back here. All right, got all the bolts lined up. I got this through bolt right here, coming on the outside. The bolt behind the seatbelt and the bottom of the seatbelt bolt. And so I think from now, just tying everything down, it's a perfect angle for my shoulders. So I just gotta, I'm gonna jump in here and see how I fit and see how close I am to the bar. All right, so harness bar is all installed. Pretty damn sturdy. And let's see, tidy up the car a little bit, you know? Kind of make it look factory. Let's see if this clip still fits. Boom, boom. All right, that's all good. And I'm just gonna vacuum clean up and probably take off the tint just so you know, just to flex a little bit. So let's get that out of the way and we'll see how it looks like from the outside. All right, so the seat is all bolted in. Um, I rolled down the windows just because I want to see what it would look like if I didn't have tint. And, you know, I think I would actually like it if I didn't have tint. So, 
I'll get that taken care of in a little bit, but this is what the roll bar looks like with everything bolted in. Not roll bar, harness bar. But for now, now I just need some harness, four point harness, and that's it. You know, 2020's coming. See what I got for this car. Hope you guys like this video. Um, do a lot more drifting next year, so stay tuned and subscribe for more.